some people may be wondering on how to hear a lot more from God. One of the many ways that God speaks to us is to our conscience. I believe when I pray more or when I pray, God speaks to me or speaks to my conscience. And I receive, yes, he speaks to my conscience a lot more. And I receive a lot more revelations as well. So if you want to hear from God a lot more, receive more revelations, pray to God more. Does that make any sense? Seek out a relationship with him. It is going to pay off. Let me get to my topic. Some people may ask, Hey Kevin, why does God make some people poor and some people rich? Like, there are so many poor children out there, so many poor people, so hungry, harsh conditions, so on and so on. So let's go to Matthew 19 and 24. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. And again I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. So what is this saying? That it is more difficult for rich people to go to heaven. What else? It is saying as well, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. So let me illustrate this. Let's say that this is the camel and this is the eye of the needle. So it is saying that it is easier for the camel, for a camel, to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to get into heaven. Very shocking. Very, very shocking. So you may still ask, hey Kevin, why did or why yes why do god make some people rich and some people poor okay let's say that you have lived poor your whole life and you have been in sin a second before you die you repent of your sins so you say, God, please forgive me of all my sins. So you go to heaven. Since you really have not done much for God, you are not really going to receive rewards or much rewards. So let's say that you receive little rewards per se. Okay. The little that you receive in heaven is going to be a lot more <clears throat> than what the richest person have on this earth. So the little that you will receive in heaven is going to be much more than what the richest person have on this earth. And you may still ask, hey Kevin, why do God make some people poor and some people rich? I just told you <laughs> in so many words. We just read that it is more difficult for a rich person to make it to heaven. I just told you, even if you are poor now, if you go to heaven, you are going to have more than the richest person in this world. Okay, let me explain it another way. Okay. 
let's say that there are some rich people doomed to go to hell. Let's say that they have jewelry, houses or homes, so much money, so many girlfriends, boyfriends, jets, helicopters, so much stuff. Okay. If they are doomed to go to hell, what they have on earth is as much of heaven that they are ever going to receive. What they have on earth is going to be as much of heaven that they are going to ever receive. So what am I trying to say? Let me say this first. How long are they going to enjoy their possessions? Maybe, let's say, 100 years. If that, not even that. How long are you going to be poor on this earth? Let's say 100 years. Not even that. Okay, if you go to heaven, how long are you going to be in heaven? For an eternity. So, how long are you going to be able to enjoy your riches? For an eternity. So, you are going to be more rich, enjoy your riches for longer, and have a better quality of life than they. What am I trying to say? We need to take our focus off other people and place it on ourselves. Yes, there are many rich people out there. Does that mean that they all are going to hell? No. It is difficult for them to make it to heaven, but not impossible. We need to take our focus off them, per se, like as in what they have and stuff like that, and be thankful to God for what we have now. Does that make any sense? So this is saying that it is more difficult, difficult for rich people to make it to heaven. So the opposite have to be true as well. So the less money that you have, the easier that it has to be to make it to heaven. Think about it. When you are rich, when you have much, your money, your possessions are your God. Idolatry. When you are rich, not every rich person, but for some, when some people are rich, what do they do? If they get sick, if they get hurt, if something goes wrong, they run to their money. They run to their God, which is their money. So does that mean that all poor people are going to make it to heaven? Of course not. You still have to accept God, but from what this is saying, it has to be a lot easier for people who have less money to make it to heaven. Does that make any sense? Okay. So you can pretty much say, or a person can pretty much say that it is a blessing 
to not be rich. It is a blessing. Now, I am not saying that you can't ask God for things. Like, if you want a new car, a new house, some new books or new things, it is not a bad thing to ask God for those things. It is not. But when you get to the point where you are idolizing or loving those things more than God, that is an issue. Does that make any sense? So never get to that point. So I really hope this makes sense. I tried to really break things down. Take your focus off of other people's things, whether they are rich or poor. Be thankful to God for what you have, because if you die as an obedient servant, you are going to be rich in heaven. So yes, we may have to suffer a bit on this earth, but in eternity in heaven, it's not even going to compare to the small things that we have to suffer from on this earth. Think about that. What is 100 years compared to in eternity? Does not even compare, not even a tiny bit. Even if you lived to 1,000 years old. What is that compared to in eternity? Even if you don't get much in heaven, you are in heaven. <laughs> so yes, there are so many rich people out here. Yes, there are so many poor people out there. But if they die in Christ, die as an obedient servant, they are going to have so much. So you can pretty much say that this life now is only a test. Only a temporary test. That's it. Not going to last long. So yes, you may have to suffer a little bit. But if you hold on to God, you are going to receive more than what you can imagine. How amazing is that? So give thanks to God for everything. I don't have as much money as I want, but I am so thankful to God. I don't have nearly as much as other people, not even near. <laughs> but I am so thankful because I could be dead, I could be sick, I could be in pain, I could be in the hospital, <laughs> so much. Give thanks to God, other than looking around, so many poor people, what's going on? What kind of God is that? No. So really take heed to this. God bless.